Hello students, welcome to business studies session on the topic marketing, a very important chapter in class 12th syllabus. Okay, if you, if you uh, speak in terms of marks relating to this chapter, then in theory it will be approximately uh, 12 to 14 marks and in practical if you choose this topic for your project work then of course that 20 marks you have to prepare a file on this topic you have you have to for that you have to choose a product okay 12 marks will be for your file and 8 marks will be for your viva so i think it's a considering the depth of the chapter in terms of marks you have to be very careful in understanding this okay so if, uh, today uh, we are going to have an introductory session on this topic okay now see introduction uh, right from morning till night if we consider what all things we need as human beings then you will find you need starting you need all toiletry products okay then you need food, water or some liquid, bread, butter, okay, whatever you need to uh, satisfy your hunger, then to satisfy your thirst, okay, then you need services, okay, in form of, suppose, uh, metro, correct, conveyance, electricity service, water service, okay, then you need some entertainment, okay correct then you that that you can get from tv your mobile phone correct then you need some knowledge that you can acquire from books magazines newspapers journals etc so from the morning till night you need so many things okay the food items then the information items then your entertainment items then the various services and then also you need so many products like i need marker for this to write all this blackboard table okay room okay then fan books correct clothes cream cosmetics so many different things I need apart from the mention above okay so think from where do you get all this okay so the obvious answer is the business firms are providing this and why are they providing this so they are doing this to earn their livelihood okay the business people have opted to produce or to sell the produced goods means they have chosen business as their economic activity and the reward that they will get is in form of profit okay so uh, so the, these business firms who are manufacturing and providing goods to satisfy the needs of various customers are known as marketer okay so the meaning of marketer we can say it this way also the, the party which plays an active role in exchange of goods and services for value to satisfy their needs and wants are known as marketer usually the seller is a marketer okay but okay suppose the marketer the seller of uh, this marker pen is the marketer blackboard then the uh, then the seller is the marketer but there are some items like defense equipments okay research items nuclear fuel where buyer is considered as the marketer because buyer will play an active role to facilitate exchange okay so 
meaning of this is relating to meaning of marketing suppose i take two simple example milk chocolates okay and that i have taken dairy milk chocolates then dairy milk chocolate is marketed by nestle company so nestle company is the marketer of daily dairy milk chocolates then suppose i take another example tv fridge phone or electronic goods relating to a brand samsung the samsung company is the marketer of such products or these products okay so me meaning of marketer means those who are taking active role in exchange of goods and services are known as marketer so i gave you two simple examples okay atlas cycle fast track watches all these are the names of brands and the, uh, the party which is providing or the firm or the company which is providing is the uh, these products are known as marketer come to next what uh, the meaning of marketing activities now the marketer has to perform various activities to facilitate exchange of goods and services okay the goods and services uh, reach the consumer then the marketer has to perform various type of activities like first we has to gather the information of mar uh, market analyze do market planning think about the product which is going to ma manufacture and market okay designing of the product development of the product correct pricing labeling branding transportation customer support services so many activities he has to do to market the goods so all these are known as marketing activities okay now first we should also know simultaneously the meaning of market so we we will understand the meaning of market in two sense traditional sense and the modern sense so as per traditional sense market means first you can consider it as a place where buyer and seller come to together okay next you can think it in context of product as for example electronic market cotton market fruit market vegetable market share market etc then that is the second understanding of traditional viewpoint of the meaning of market then third as per geographical concent concentration market refers to national market where buying and selling of goods and services is taken within the geographical boundaries of a nation or the international market where the buyer and seller are of different nations okay that come to the fourth understanding of traditional viewpoint type of market whether it is a consumer good market or the industrial good market consumer goods which are meant for final consumption by consumers and industrial market means those products which help to manufacture consumer goods okay so place products place where buyers and sellers meet product as per the category of the product okay share market electronic market cloth market fruit market gold market you know then geographical concentration national or international type of product then it might be consumer good market or industrial market then last is as per the quantity of goods easiest wholesale market or the retail market okay as for the modern meaning of market it refers to where actual and potential buyers of products or services are means actually actually the the buyers and sellers and would be buyers okay so modern meaning of marketing market is both actual and potential buyers of product it includes both 
actual and potential would be buyers of the product so i hope this topic is clear this was an introduction session today i will show you the blackboard so that the things are examples are clear to you see meaning i gave you two examples meaning of marketing okay modern meaning of marketing thank you all